friends welcome back to my channel macho maza so today i'm going to roam this area this area is called songsak and i'm staying in songsak now in abby's place so let's see how the day will end So friends, today we are going to have a big fish here. It's like today they're gonna have some meeting, so they are preparing a huge meal. So we are part of this. So let's see how many people will come and how the dish will be. Let's see next time. You can see Sanya. So friends, now then we are exploring this song Sak Agal Grey. Tatan no. No tataneno, I don't want tataneno. So we are exploring this song sack. Let's see how the song sack will be. Song sack what? Song sack agal grey. Wah. So we are exploring song sack now. And that is the house where we came from. Okay. Oh, that one is abandoned. Abandoned house, I guess. So, friends, this is a rubber plantation. As you can see, most of the mountain is covered with rubber. And this small stream where men versus wild used to drink water. <laughs> and this is rubber tea. Forest, not forest. I'm mean, say garden, rubber tree garden. My, even that also is rubber tree, and that is a bird flying on the in the sky. That bird is called alabok, which is very good meat to eat, <laughs> and that is cow. So friends, on our way we found this mushroom. I don't know what mushroom is this. I don't know the name. I don't know this mushroom can be uh, edible or not but because of the large gills I don't think so this mushroom is edible like if you want to know the basic thing in mushroom if the gills of mushrooms are large that means it is inedible you can't eat but if the gills of the mushrooms are smaller that means like you have slightly chance that you can eat the mushroom but I recommend you if you don't have the full information about mushroom then please don't try or else you will die so friends now we are in paddy field agal grass paddy field as you can see these rice are not ripened so it will take like a few weeks to harvest this rice and now is the time of harvesting most of the people they are harvesting rice now and in my village also my parents they are harvesting rice because our rice is already ripened so it is not ripened so it is not time for this rice to be harvested because as you can see the seeds are still green but some of the seeds are still yellowish in color so they are they need a little bit time to be ripened so my friend Walja he already went there so I have to chase him so I'm gonna show you that one also like they are uh, they are making bricks I'm gonna show you how these bricks are made so friends now we are entering big brick factory as you can see this all are bricks yeah. they are making bricks if you know the initials of JAS then please do tell me oh yeah but I yeah it's a case of anti it had to is a what do you have to 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 have Pura pahar ko khod ke. Aur uska baad. Pahar nahi khod ke. Pahar nahi khodega. Sirf zameen. Zameen pura. Uska baad kaise ki aisa shape deta hai ap log? Ita ka shape kaise deta hai? Ya machine hai? Ha? Machine hai na kya? Ita shape dene ke liye? Farma hai. Oh farma hai? Ah, theek hai. Kinnay bhaiya ek ita ka dam? 
Eh kita akan tampil naik. Eh rupiah. Eh rupiah. Uh, okay friends, if you want to buy ita, you can always buy from here. It is very cheap out here. Only one rupees for one ita. If you are in Shillong, then you can buy ita from here. And like if you buy from if you buy ita from Shillong, then I think it will be like seven to eight rupees buy ita. Come to Songsak and after that buy ita. <laughs> So friends, just now I talk with the real owner, and his name is James Cornell A. Sangma. He's the owner of that uh, brick factory, and he owns most of the land here. And he told me that that the brick actual price is not one rupees; it's actually seven rupees. Oh, not seven, six rupees. Uh, the reason is that why that uh, labor told one rupees is that because when they make one brick. It costs like for them, then it will be like one rupees. But the main owner of the, what to say, the factory, means he have to process. He have to give so many things like GST and all and uh, miscellaneous thing he have to give. So he have to sell in six rupees. So the basically that one rupees is just for making one brick only for the laborers. But when you sell in the market, then it will be six rupees. So guys, if you want to buy bricks, then you can always come to this place. You can contact our uncle, or you can say anything, James Cornell Esangma, and you'll be able to get the bricks in six rupees per piece. So I hope you like my uh, factory review. So keep watching. I'll be showing more now. So friends, this is Jambura. We call it Jambura, but I forgot what they say in English. Pamelo or something like that, I guess. But I'm not sure. If you know what this fruit is, you can always comment in my comment section. So friends, now I'm having this banana chips. And as you can see, this banana chips is only 10 rupees. But if you buy this one in Silong, I think it will be like 30 rupees. Something like that. And this is nursery for better nut trees. Why you can say in Kasi. Kangkeldek aku cuah deh babu orang. Ii dong sang dah nak sembunyi bulde. Eh dong ja. Yeah, bijak kosong kat eh. Manjok ma. Oh day, cabo cabo. Cumong bot, cumong bot, cumong esa cabo. Rong sako rong sa 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 non bot rong sa 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 non bot esa. One two three, ready, set, go. Go. Ayah sa sa kau dek. So friends, these small kids, they were plucking this fruit. This is called kankul. In our language, it's called uncle. In English, it's called bilberry, I guess.
So friends, as you can see, all the vehicles are gathered here for meeting and for feast. So let's see how many person are there now. We just drew, we just came from outside, so we'll just go and enter in Abby's place. Hi. Hey. So now we are going somewhere where I don't know because we just took out the vehicle. Only me and Walter are here. So I don't know where are we going, but we are just going for a drive with hyper speed. Woohoo! So as you can see, I'm going in a hyper drive with cool car, with cool SUV, I mean to say. Oh, 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 yes! <laughs> That's how you enjoy your drive. So, friends, we just reached here in Rongre, as you can see. So, this is Rongre, Rongre Highway. So, we are just going to buy some vegetables. Mr. Walza wants to buy something. So, let's see what he buys. <laughs> So Mr. Walja is buying cauliflower. Cauliflower and there are like pumpkin. So friends, Mr. Walja bought cauliflower and this is called seteka. <laughs> and that is cassava, not cassava. What, what this is like yum, yum. yeah yam root yum and pumpkin. Okay. pumpkin so he bought this much so we're gonna keep this one in our vehicle and after that we'll go I don't know where so friends me and Walja stop by here just to check out this beautiful lake so I'm going on my slipper <laughs> Mr. Walja Ooh. This lake is beautiful, which is located near the highway. As you can see, oh, there is a way from here. Yes, I don't know I should go over there or not. I don't know why keep why they have keep this barricade also. Be careful, Walza. That is very dangerous bridge. Not bridge. <laughs> I don't know what is there. I don't know what to call. So now me and Walja are just going to this near the lake side. We're just walking here. <coughs> oh, there are some people, I guess, over there. So we came out here just to relax. Okay. After heavy meal, we need to walk a little bit. Okay, some of them they're fishing also. I think I'm disturbing them. So they're fishing. Natok banama. Manja natok. Mine natok the doyma, you know? So basically, I asked him that uh, fish is here or not, means there's to get fish here, fish here or not. So he said that yes, there's to get fish here, but at present he didn't have any fish. So we're gonna enjoy the lake view. So friends, this lake is Chimarang. So he is catching fish peacefully. No one is there to disturb him. But we came here and we are disturbing his peaceful place. Now we are just going here and there. Wow trees are huge uh, I feel like I belong here I belong to the nature I feel so peace I feel so ace when I came here okay I'll be joining Mr. Walda now okay I'll be blogging more just keep watching okay for bed they use this small fly going to throw that one in like wow that's 
how you fish hey friends now I'm going to end my blog over here and as you can see this is the best place to end my blog as you can see like I'm in a highway and tomorrow I will be going to that place that place is called Tasek Wari means Tasek Lake we are planning to go over there tomorrow but I cannot say exactly because life is unpredictable we might go and we might not go also but hopefully we might go tomorrow there Tasek Wari and it is a lake which is located in Songsak village so if you guys want to watch that then do watch my new video and subscribe to my channel if you're new in my channel and thanks friends for uh, supporting me and I'd like to end my video here keep watching my video and see you in next video